Okay, that's maximum zoom in, so I hope that's going to work for us here. So what do we have? Uh, we have a one microfarad capacitor there, another one there. We have a 2K and a 10K resistor. And we have a bunch of series resistors, which are... Who knows what they are exactly? Um, oh, see there, 1K. Sorry if that's not quite perfectly in focus. That's the best that my camera is willing to do at this maximum zoom level. So, for surface mount using an iron, you generally just tin one pad. Like that, which is the capacitor over here. And then you place the guy. Um, okay, so it looks like they've given me two different, let's zoom out a little bit here. So they give me a couple of uh, resistors of these values and a bunch of these and two capacitors here. So I've got spare resistors of, I guess, the 10K and 2K. So those are 103. That's the 10K. Let's start there. Hmm. I think I'm going to need to blue tack this board down just a little bit so it doesn't move around on me. Okay. Um, and then... Try and slide this guy into place. And it's up tombstone, isn't it? Wow. Hmm. What the hell size are these things anyways? These are 0201. Wow. That's smaller than anything I've worked with before. No wonder I'm having such trouble with it. Oh, well, that's ugly. But anyway, I got the first one in there. I'll just solder the other end down. With way too much solder. And just touch up the first one. That's horrible. I'm going to blow up some flux in here. Some, a bunch of liquid flux. And see if that helps this thing flow in any better. Yeah, a little bit better. Okay, one. Can't even get these bloody packages open. That is a 202. Which is going to be that 2K there. I think these, these normal tweezers give me a little bit better control than the non-conductive ones. It's a little bit annoying, but whatever. How's that look? 
a little bit less ugly. It's been a while since I've done surface mount. Not that I do it that much anyway. Okay, there's those two resistors. Good thing this is a simple circuit that doesn't need all that many parts. I think for... Oh no, I've already got the capacitors pre-soldered, so I'll just go with it. And surface mount capacitors are annoying because they never have the part number marked on them. So you have to keep them in their package and hope that the package is correct. Until pretty much the last second. Okay. You go there. I hope I'm not getting my head in front of the camera. But I'm having to ah having to get in stupidly close to do this. It's on there, it ain't pretty. I think once I got everything pretty much on there, I'm going to reflow it with my hot air iron, hot air unit. So that's that's the basic components: two resistors, two capacitors. No, well, there's the there's the last the last resistor is that I'll put it on last. I think. Um, So I've got this syringe of kind of more pasty flux. Use a little bit of this for the chips. This is way, way too much. I'm going to put a little bit around these guys too, just so that when I reflow them later with the hot air, that they actually have a chance of taking a good... Uh, good set into position this is all super ugly I am not proud of this but I said I was gonna show you I'll show you and then I'm gonna try this solder paste on here and I'm probably going to put way too much on let's just start squirting off here Okay, yeah, that's way too much. That's way too much. That's probably way too much. Yeah, that's probably way too much. Matter of fact, I know that's way, way too much. I'm just going to clean a bunch of that off with a toothpick here. Not all of it, obviously. Hopefully that should be good. So now let's uh, get our little 555 out here. If I can get it out of its package.
Okay, so the notch is on this end here. So that's where pin one is. Turn over you. And the bar on the end of that shows where pin one is on him. See that? And there's a little dot over there as well. So that's pin one there. Poke him down roughly into place. And I am going to use hot air for this thing. Hopefully, let's turn the air volume. That's minimum air volume. Okay. So hopefully, this guy just nudges into place like he's supposed to. What you guys, are you warming up and uh, nudging back into place like you're supposed to too? That's good. Come on. Huh. Maybe I didn't put enough paste on there. too much come okay, in I mean that's just crap solder paste I'm going to touch that up with the iron I think and just see if I can Make that a little bit more reasonable. I can see why most people use microscopes for this. Okay, I think that's soldered. I think, I think, I think. Now then, how about over there for the 4017 that's got far too much solder paste on it? Far, far too much, I think. Okay, I don't know. I'm going to try it. What's the worst that could happen? It doesn't work. So again, pin one is over that end there. See the little notch. And pin one on this guy is over there. There's a little bump on it. I think that's where he wants to land. Let's try it and see. I'm off by one pin, I think. Yeah, I think I am.
Oh, wow, I'm making a complete disaster of it. That capacitor moved, but then it moved back. Am I good? I don't know. Ouch, ouch, ouch. You know what? I think that's not too horrible. I think I can live with that. That one's a little dry, but it's soldered. It doesn't have a, a super duper fillet. That one looks a little dry at that end. Let's touch him and I think I'll be good to go. Unless, of course, I roasted the thing. Okay, um, that's all the surface mount. Now, just nice, comfortable through-hole stuff. I can back out a little bit and work on that. So we got the, uh, the pot. Don't tell me I'm going to have to change my tip to something that will hold a bit more heat. Oh, that works. Just got to get the tip in contact with both the pad and the uh, component lead. Ow, that board's hot. What else? Power connector, sure. And we'll blob that into the blue tack just for fun. Okay. And now all I've got to do, actually, it should work at this point. I'm going to solder that down a little bit better. I won't that go down because I've got to heat both of those guys to get it down. There, that's a little bit better. Does that turn? Where did I melt it in place? Okay, now the potentiometer works. All right, so I should be able to... Hmm. Yeah, okay, so I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to put the through-hole LEDs in because uh that just i don't need them so which side is okay oh it's that's got led or diode uh printout there uh, the silk screen shows it okay so um the negative is the right hand side of each one of those, which means the positive is going to come from the resistor. And since I'm not using the resistors, I will just come off the pad. Actually, I'm going to tin those up just so that I can work with them easier. 
something I don't think I mentioned earlier. I've mentioned it in other videos. The reason I'm using this piece of masonite to solder on is because I found that heat buggers up my, my uh, cutting mat and causes it to warp. And since this is a brand new cutting mat down underneath here, I don't want to uh, destroy it. So there's that and the negative wire will solder in proper through hole fashion. I'm just going to do one for right now until we see if this thing works properly. Sounds reasonable. This is the point where I'm going to rejoin the main video. Okay, so I've got this thing soldered up. It was painful, but uh, I got there in the end. Um, and I've got one of the laser diodes on there right now. So I'll give it some power. So I'll give it some power from my uh, power supply. I'm going to current limit it. Right now it's at 23 milliamps and 9 volts, which is what this other board was running off. I'll turn him on. You can see that running back there. So that's the negative, which goes on that pin. And the positive which goes on that pin. Let's see what happens. Oh, -ho! see that? I have my little jewel here. There we go. That's good. Now I'll just solder the rest of them in and then figure out a way to mount up my laser light show. This part's going quite well.
This is a little tedious. It's still not as ugly as the uh, surface mount, so I'll take it. And quite honestly, since these are all going onto a ground plane, it doesn't really matter which ground hole I poke them through, as long as they're all going into one of the grounds. Okay, I think that looks pretty reasonable, even if it was slightly out of focus for you. I hope it wasn't. And actually, what happens if I just hook it up here? Which side's which? Plus, so there's the back one. That's not actually too bad an orientation to have it in. Let's see what happens. Is that going to work? Oh, hey, look at that disco show. <laughs> 